hey guys welcome back to next gen blog and in this video i want to show you how you can create a sliced text effect in vstc free video editor now it's actually super easy to create a sliced text effect in vstc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this first i would like to write some text on top of the screen so to do that go to add object go to text click on text and now click on ok now mark your text object like this and then click on this option which is set the same size as the parent has now let's write some text inside the text box so let me just write let's say sliced now let me center align my text by going to paragraph and selecting center and once again going to paragraph and then selecting center align let me also change the font of my text from Arial to Montserrat Black and let me also increase the text size to somewhere around 400 pixels alright next what you need to do is you need to double click on your text object and now you need to add a line so go to add object select line and now click on ok now mark your line across the text like this now look inside the line object settings which is present inside the properties window inside color currently the color white is selected so click on this three dots which is present on the extreme right of the color option and right here you need to select the color black and then click on ok now right below the color option you will find the thickness option where currently the value is 1 so delete this value and instead of 1 you need to write let's say 30 and now press enter on the keyboard perfect all right so this has created this sort of cut inside my text all right now next what you need to do is you need to double click on your line object and now you need to go to video effects go to transitions select wipe and now click on ok now place the wipe transition right at the beginning like this and look inside the wipe settings which is present inside the properties window inside type currently door is selected so change this from door to side mode is right to left so that's fine directly set to false so change this from false to true inside gradient length currently the value is 50 percent so delete this value and instead of 50 you need to write zero and now press enter on the keyboard and so now if i just play the video for you perfect all right so let me just play the video for you once again all right now next what you need to do is you need to place your cursor at two seconds and what we are going to do is we will take a snapshot so click on this option which is more tools and then select this option which is create snapshot now the moment you click on create snapshot a snapshot of your screen will be taken and it will appear inside the resources window now what i would like to do is i would like to place my cursor at one second because that is when the wipe transition completes and right here i would like to drag the snapshot on top of the screen like this and once again drag the snapshot on top of the screen like this and so right here as you can see i have dragged and dropped the say uh, the snapshot two times so it is visible inside the timeline as well so this is the first time i drag and dropped and this is the second time i drag and drop the same snapshot now double click on the image of the snapshot um, which is present at the top 
and what we are going to do is we will add a rectangle object so go to add object select rectangle and now click on ok now mark your rectangle object on top of the screen like this and what we are going to do is click on top of your rectangle object and then go to properties window and i would like to change the color of my rectangle to black so currently the color inside my rectangle is white so if you look inside the rectangle object settings and inside the brush section you will find the color option where currently white is selected so click on this three dots and inside the colors dialog box select black and now click on ok and what i would like to do next is i would like to double click on the rectangle object and now i need to rotate my rectangle to match the cut so go to video effects go to transforms select rotate and now click on ok now look inside the rotate settings which is present inside the properties window and inside the rotate settings you will find this option called rotate angles so currently the value inside the rotate angles is 30 degree so delete this value and instead of 30 you need to write 330 and as you can see this is how my rectangle is looking right now so i need to keep changing the values so let me just increase the value inside the rotate angles option so that it matches the cut all right perfect all right so this is no 350 won't work 349 degree is the perfect value now let me resize my rectangle a little bit all right now go back to your rectangle object and inside the blend option right here is the blend option you need to click on this option and you need to select this particular option that is xor so select xor perfect all right now let's go back to the main editing timeline and um, what we are going to do next is double click on the image of the snapshot which is present right at the top in the timeline and we have our rectangle object present right here now we will use the movement object so go to add object go to movement click on movement and now click on ok now move the image towards the left side like this all right and the end point of my movement object is placed at nine seconds so i would like to place it at one second so let me just place my cursor at one second and right at one second i would like to place the end point of my movement object perfect now let's go back to the main editing timeline and now double click on the image of the snapshot which is present below the image which is present at the top so this particular image so double click on this particular image and here also we will use the movement object to move our image so the image which is present which is present at the top we moved it towards the left side so this image which is present at the bottom we will move it towards the right side so go to add object go to movement click on movement and now click on ok now move this particular image towards the right side like this and place your cursor at one second and place the end point of your movement object at one second and that's it and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start here comes the cut and here my image kind of moves towards the left side and the right side um, according to my cut 
So let me play this output for you in the preview window as well. Perfect. So this is how you can actually create a sliced text effect in VSCC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.